do come again? I cannot wait to put this new equipment to well, use. Right, By what margin will it improve our performance in battle, I wonder? This is quite a quant. Ox carts make for relatively. This ox cart's bound for Vernwood. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Not interested. Hey well met, sir. How might I be of service? Always a pleasure. This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Won't someone do aught about this? Perhaps you would indulge me in conversation? Ah! Oh, good to see you! Those garments you gave me had a marked effect. Albert set off to work the moment he saw them, and he's been working steadily ever since. I never thought I'd see the day. To be frank, I have not the slightest interest in the man, but he can surely benefit this city much more by performing an honest duty than by begging on the streets. In short, you've done us all a service. Pray. 
Shall we visit the manor, as the maid bid? Pray, allow me to show you the way. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace, discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent, and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Oh, you came, sir. I must confess, I feared you would not. But I forget myself. You must be wondering why I asked you here. I should like to speak with an acquaintance of yours, a child with whom I espied you conversing. She is the spitting image of my young master, you see. It is my hope that she might take his place for a time, thereby granting him a reprieve from his sorry situation. Diana, would you paint my mother a criminal? <clears throat> Perhaps I ought to be the one to explain. Young master, I... I meant no offence. Diana has the right of it, though the situation is not nearly so dire as she makes it sound. I seek only the freedom to leave my own home. My mother is bedridden, you see, and her mind is not so sharp as it once was. Whenever I am absent, she grows terribly distressed. By leaving a look-alike in the house, I hope to ensure her peace of mind while I attend to matters of my own. Would you be willing to lend your assistance? Splendid! Thank you so very much. Twas in the slums that I witnessed you speaking with the girl. Would you be so kind as to bring her here? I have been waiting for you, Arisa. What's this? Come to admire my sculptures, have you? <laughs> oh, oh, to think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the Arisen. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive. And would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you'd consider paying a visit to the sculptor in my stead. The man's home is located in Bakbatar. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculptor's completion. We may benefit from pursuing the information. We shall remain here.
Come see me in my bordelry, when air you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Off you go now. If you wish to speak further, twill have to wait. This is neither the time nor the place for it. Come see me in my board already. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. You sweet. I'd be glad to have you. My eyes are up here, sir, but by all means, look. being spoiled by a good patron. Where to now? All which sets you to think. No doubt you're dazzled by my charms. They all are. Are you looking forward to this as much as I am? Here for some company? My eyes are up here, sir, but...
not sure what's best. Off you go now, if you wish to... I see you fine taste. We've a memorable night ahead of us, you. Happiness is a full stick. The sky always Welcome, sir. My eyes are up here, sir, but I'm not sure what's best. Some a lesson they won't soon forget. Sir Ludolf's lust knows no bounds. This time he's set his sights on the watchhead's misses. Still, however pressed. No man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? The watchhead refused, and rightly so. But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. He employed his usual method, which is to say, he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. Poor old Gregor departed last night. I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning alive. That's the sort of man that noble is, you see. Not that tyrannical salute.
Let me get that. Good tidings to you. Are you the- I, I thought you might be the one. My husband spoke of you, you see. Tis through him I hear much of the gossip going around town. I suppose you're here to see him. You'll have to come another day, I fear. He's been sent out on a mission, and I can't say when he'll return. Tis a perilous mission at that. I've heard he is to fell a Dullahan at the Ildua's resting place. I worry for him. I do hope he'll fare all right. Oh, Sir Ludolf, you say? Aye, we're acquainted. He's been coming around oft of late. As I recall, his visit started just before Gregor was given his new assignment. Why are you asking me about him? Does this have aught to do with my husband? What? No. You mean... Not my Gregor? Sir Arisen, I beg of you. You must save my husband. You will be repaid, I swear it. No amount of gold can compare to his life. Just please, save him. Oh, thank goodness. Pray, go to him at once. My husband's life is in your hands, sir. We must fly to the aid of those in need. I was hoping you'd come by, so I could thank you again for all your help. You really made a difference around here. Hmm? You wanted to ask me a favor this time? All right. How can I help? So, this noble boy wants me to pretend to be him? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure that'd work. I mean... I don't know the first thing about being a noble. Besides, are you sure we can trust these people? It all sounds a bit fishy to me. All right, I'll do it. But if I'm not very good at it, it's not my fault, okay? One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. No easy answers here. Will someone do aught about this? Anywhere is better than the middle of the crowd. Look, young master. She's here. Indeed. I could be staring into a mirror. Diana, will you dress her and instruct her in her role? As you wish, young master. This way, if you please, miss. What a kindness you've done me. Now I can go and fetch a gift for mother. I'm hoping a little cheer will aid her in her recovery. And a flower from Melv seems just the thing. And she was born there, you see. No doubt her days would be brighter with a memento of her old home by her bedside. All is ready, young master. You need only finish your preparations for the journey.
The lands around Melva rife with poisonous flora. I'd hoped to pack an antidote for the young master, but the shops had none to spare. Tis not only poison the plants inflict, but drowsiness besides. Might there not be a curative that accounts for both? You know, the roads around Melva are supposed to be really dangerous. I heard the safest way to get there is to carry something that reeks of Cyclops with you, because it'll scare all the monsters away. It's good to be reunited. It seems Master Sebastian is lacking a few supplies. Shall we gather what springs to mind? Well then, I ought to be off, I suppose. I must confess, I feel rather uneasy. This is my first time leaving the city. I only hope I've not forgotten anything of import. Hmm. You think I ought to bring some medicine and monster repellent with me? What precisely would you suggest?
My thanks. I'm certain these will come in useful. Now, I really must be going. Wish me luck. Take care, young master. Come back safe. Thank you for your aid in all of this, sir. I shall see about procuring you a suitable reward, so pray do come visit us again. If we are to aid Sir Gregor, we must needs make for the Ildoer's resting place. I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. This journey will be a long one. What say we employ an ox cart and save our feet the blisters? A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. can see far from here, to the land beyond the sea. Say it. We trounced our foe well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle.
would be nice if we must fight. I grant your weapon a magical. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might.
achieved remarkable synchronicity. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Their master, Saurians!
He's master. All together now. We attack as one. A focused attack will end this foe. I see it now.
One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Out of the cave at last. I do believe our party would stand to benefit from the addition of a sorcerer. <laughs> 